the Director of College and Career Readiness, and um, I am leading the core curriculum task force. And when I talk about this work, um, a couple of questions come up really consistently. And the first question is, what will a common curriculum look like and how will it be different than what I'm, what I'm using right now? And this is a really important question because um, when we think about what is the definition of curriculum, that is a, people define it differently in different situations and across our organization. For instance, if you asked a second grade teacher, what is your curriculum for reading? She might say, open court. And in our task force, we've adopted a much different definition of curriculum. So what we're saying is that curriculum is a coherent set of learning experiences that we want for every student and a course of study for teachers to guide teachers in providing those experiences for students. It's what we want all of our students to know and be able to do and the blueprint for getting there. Um, and it's more than just also more than just the California state standards. Um, we also, we want students to be able to solve linear equations and to be able to write a, a persuasive speech, but we also want them to be able to work really effectively with other people, collaboratively. We want them to think critically and apply their knowledge. Um, and that doesn't always show up in a textbook, and we have to really make sure that we're clear about what it is we want all students to know and be able to do, so we can work backward from that in a really thoughtful way and get students to that place. The other reason it's really important, this work is really important, is because the Common Core state standards have been adopted in August, and we need to make sure that we're aligning with those standards, which are which, which are intended to make sure that our students are more ready for college and career. Um, I think our work is best framed by the three major questions on the slide. The first question being, as a school district and community, what do we mean when we say all students will be ready for college and career? Um, we might all have a little bit different definition for that. And um, we don't currently have a really good way to measure all the things that we might, might say um, when, when we say a student's going to be ready for career, for, for instance. Um, we need to be really clear, as I mentioned before, so that we can map backwards from there. The second question is, what is the current state of college and career readiness for our district, for our students? In our, in our task force work, we've been really delving deeply into some of the indicators. One indicator we already looked at is um, A to G um, readiness. How many of our students ha have completed, how many of our graduates are completing A to G? Um, and, and what do the gaps look like? And where are those gaps? And why do those gaps exist? So we're trying to look at, and that's just one little indicator. Um, and there are many other indicators. And we want to hear from, in our task force work, we want to hear from employers, for instance. When you're getting graduates of OUSD, um, what are your experiences with those graduates? What are they coming with and what are they not coming with? We, we want to hear from parents. Um, what is it that your students are learning that you're really pleased with? What is it that they're not learning that we need to make sure gets into this common curriculum. Um, and then the final question, how will a coherent core curriculum prepare students for college and career? Um, we really need to, to um, I'll, I'll give you an example. The, we, the board has the, a results policy for life and workplace skills on that students will be um, effective managers of time. We haven't defined what is it that that looks like. When a student leaves us after they graduate, what does it look like to be able to manage time effectively? We need to be able to say what that looks like. So that's part of the work we're doing. The other thing we need to do is say, well, if that's what we want for students in 12th grade, what, is, what does that look like in 8th grade for students? And what does it look like in 5th grade for students? And how, how do we provide those experiences for students so that they can get there? And how do we measure that and hold ourselves accountable so that we're getting all students there. So those are the kinds of things we're doing. And if we want students to have this coherent experience, we have to have a really solid blueprint. And that's the work we're doing. Thank you. Good morning.